Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Today's date, March 22nd, 2016. Our discussion is going to be on allegiance today. We find in 2 Kings 25.11 the remain, reminder of the people in the city and the Jewish deserters who had declared their allegiance to the king of Babylon were all taken exiles to Babylon. In 1 Chronicles 12.29 From the tribe of Benjamin, the same tribe Saul was from, there were 3,000, most of that tribe retained its allegiance to Saul. In 1 Chronicles 29.24 The national leaders, the army officers, and his brothers all pledged their allegiance to King Solomon. 2 Chronicles 23.3 On arrival, they swore allegiance to the young king who was still in hiding at the temple. At last, the time has come for the king, king's son, to reign. Jehoiada exclaimed, The Lord promised that a descendant of King David shall be our king and will be true again. Isaiah 48 1 hear me my people you swear allegiance to the Lord without meaning a word of it when you boast of living in the holy city and brag about depending on the God of Israel now we know here many Jews were disobedient to God and they did make allegiance to kings for the wrong reasons we also live in a country that the right thing to, is to have an allegiance to the country as the Israelites had with Solomon. We need to have an allegiance to the Lord our God completely. He is the God of all of us. By having an allegiance with our God, we are part of God, God's promise for us. I want you to think about this today. Where's your allegiance? Is it with God? Is it with Satan? I want you to think about this and pray about it. Thank you and have a blessed day.